I've been a nurse practitioner for uh, 17 years this summer. So what got me into it was just an interest in learning more, being able to do more. I'd been a nurse for seven or eight years and I just had an interest in being able to learn more about um, taking care of people, more about health, more about disease process, and then being able to um, help manage care, help be part of the healthcare team in a, in a bigger role. And, and I've been a nurse in the hospital and I wanted to take on a new challenge and I wanted to find something where I could make a difference in someone's life, um, which I felt like I had been doing, but again, just a, a more education, more chance to, to help others in a more meaningful way. I always liked taking care of people. So even, I knew even when I was young and I would babysit and I would like to take care of people and I knew I liked, um, yeah, I just like that caring part or that uh, helping others. And I always had that interest. And so I, I knew as I was heading you know, into high school and, and then in college that that's really where I felt most comfortable was in the role of caretaker or caregiver. And, um, and I felt it was something that I could really uh, enjoy doing, but also, you know, be a benefit to someone else, too. Well, I've been part of uh, Bloomington Primary Care for almost six years. Um, and I really, the family practice part is really very exciting and interesting to me, to be able to take care of young through old, and then the entire family portion, I, I, um, I, I like, yeah, I like being able to take care of mom, dad, kids, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, all kind of a family unit. So I like to ask in, in a new patient or in patients that I um, haven't seen for a while or ever, what, what's new or what's going on? And I like to type, try to identify like what, what brought you to the practice or what, what's your connection and why do you want to be at a family practice um, what's their interest in that as opposed to just internal medicine or taking their child to a pediatric clinic or a geriatric practice. What, what do they hope to benefit by from being at a family practice group that, that cares for the whole family of, of various ages? Um, and so then I like to know how do they perceive, how do they perceive their health? Like what do they, what are they here for in their own words and what what do they hope to achieve by coming in? What do you, what do you want? You know, like I have high blood pressure, but well, now what? You know, what do you, what do you hope for me to help you with? With that, is it just prescribe me some medicines, watch my labs, or is it working with you on uh, lifestyle modifications and things? So I like to find out where they are in their um, self care, kind of their self care. How do, how do you perceive your health and how do you think is the best way to take care of it and how can I help you sort of impression. I want them first of all to feel like we care about them because we do and so I want them to get that sense that we, we care about your health outcomes. We care about what's going to happen and, and your health is important to us and how, how you, uh, we're here to help you and we're here to do as best we can. And so I want them to come away from us thinking, here's a place that does care about what happens to me. But I also want them to feel like, and they provide good care. So I want them to have the impression that we, we're knowledgeable, we're up to date, we're, we're doing the best practices, we're, we're using evidence-based research, evidence-based practice in caring for you so that it's it's a caring, but it's also quality. And I want them to feel like, yeah, I'm at a good place. They care about me and they know what they're doing and they're going to you know, help me and they're going to do a, a really good job with that. I think it's great the, the improvement in technologies as we can communicate better. And so instead of just being able to use a phone and, and play phone tag and messages, I think it's great that we can text and portal because this is use the portal this is how we you know communicate outside of healthcare we should be using it in the healthcare field as well and it makes it so much smoother and easier to to get information back and forth instead of down the telephone tag line um, and so I'm very happy that patients are willing to do that and I'm glad that we're, we have that capability to be able to 
reach out and, and get information back and forth quickly and easily. I think it gives uh, patients a lot of uh, a lot more opportunity to and flexibility to to come in at different hours rather than just a very set schedule. I think that uh, improves your odds of coming in. Like I want you to come in for just a routine thing, but it's easy to put off if it's difficult to get here. But when we extend hours, have the lab open later, have Saturday hours, I think it just makes it easier to get in and that's really what we want. We don't want to make it difficult to get to get in and get seen. We want to make it more accessible and I think that's helped improve patient satisfaction, improve our satisfaction with um, knowing, hey, we're able to, to take care of you easier and it's, all be it's better for both sides. One thing that I like uh, to do in my spare time and I try to do uh, every summer or fall is going on a nice long um, backpacking trip and typically with my sisters and, and this summer actually I was able to bring my daughter with but I like to be able to get get away from everything and just have have time and open space and I think then what that does when I come back to work is makes me more uh, peaceful more satisfied like I have this happy place I went to and now I'm relaxed and back to, to meet the challenges of, of, a, of the career. So I, I like that. Um, I also have a very supportive you know, husband and, and children and family at home so that I, I have a chance to unwind at home and then um, I play a little piano, I run, I, I have some wind down time and then it gives me a chance to get to work and feel enthusiastic and energetic and, and ready to go interested in what I've got in front of me for the day. So. I really love talking with people. I really love the patient interaction. I love getting to know someone and, and seeing how can I help you? How can I make a difference? How can I be of benefit? And that is what I love most.